Capcom sent Big Media 26 minutes of Resident Evil Village gameplay today, so a bunch of things were revealed from the beginning of the game. Not too many spoilers, but you might think some of this is spoilers. Uh, we might see some of this in the next demo anyway. But let's go over some of the cool new things we saw, like Corpse Bride and the horse lichens in Resident Evil Village. There's only one real way to start this video, and if you don't see this cutscene and think, I want this game, then I don't know what's up. My daughters and I shall deliver this. That creepy and annoying dummy, which appears to be based on like Annabelle or Chucky, is part of House Bienviento. And that woman sitting in the back with a cloak over her appears to be the puppet master. We think this map might have the bosses on it, so not sure if she transforms into that Grim Reaper looking puppet thing. But the sun and the moon symbol could symbolize the opposite kind of personalities of the master and the puppet. We saw when the little puppet was going, this guy kind of slide in, and we're pretty sure that is the leader of House Moreau. It looks like a part human. I don't know if it's like part animal, like the island of Dr. Moreau, or if maybe this is kind of like a fish, if you look at the mouth and maybe the neck, are those gills over there, or some kind of air breathing bubbles. The reason we would think fish is because Moreau has a reservoir and in there is some kind of a fish boss that we saw in the last trailer. So it could be this guy kind of transforms into that. We'll have to see. Giant stalking bosses are now more of a Resident Evil thing than zombies, believe it or not. And in Resident Evil Village, we learn that Lady D, as we expect it, is going to be our next stalker. In the footage, she seems to make some noise, so you know she's coming. She walks super slow, doesn't seem to run at all, and Ethan can kind of just run away and kind of look back, and she's still kind of following, but not as intense as Nemesis in RE3 Remake. The reviewers also mentioned that the three daughters may have a little bit of different characteristics, but they do chase him around as well in when they turn into flies like we've seen in the demo. Enough games! I love that man's head! Now go! Of course, Mother. We can see in this footage that Heisenberg appears to have some kind of a control over these lichens. Uh, Resident Evil 4 comes to mind where the villagers were kind of under the control from Las Plagas. It might have something to do with that. We also saw Heisenberg making like some rocks and stuff float in the air and the reviewers confirm that he has some kind of telekinetic powers. Um, he can grab his hammer across the room. We see him making stuff float. The force is definitely strong with this one and the dark side, and maybe he can grab Ethan or make Ethan do stuff, who knows, we'll have to see in the game. And the other thing, they didn't reveal officially, but we're pretty sure that all this footage kind of confirms that Heisenberg's going to turn into that beast man, and his hammer's going to get even bigger, and he's going to be one of the bosses, but you can see again in that setting, uh, that beast master is kind of controlling all the lichens. And since we went through uh, the map with all the other characters, let's look at Heisenberg's factory. Uh, there's one screenshot, I swear this looks like they're cloning a bunch of Chris's and that would explain things. But perhaps they're turning people or creating lichens using B.O.W. type of technology, which would be more Resident Evil-like. And that would explain it instead of just like random werewolves, uh, but some kind of virus. We saw it in some concept art, but look what happens. Now we know it's real. Uh, these lichens can ride horses. Not sure if we can fight the horses or if it'll be actually in battle or if that's just a cutscene. And just look at all the lichens here. And once again, we see the Beastmaster kind of controlling them here. But really, horses, we got bow and arrows, we got a bunch of different weapons, and these lichens are nuts. 
We knew they were coming from a previous trailer, but these wing creatures have now been shown uh, flying around the top levels of the castle. And the interesting thing about these things is they look like those zombies that live in the dungeon, but that have morphed with wings and maybe a long tongue or tail or something that I see there. Puzzles are a big part of RE, and they'll be back here. Uh, this one looked like something we solved a long time ago from a screenshot, but this other puzzle here is like Marble Madness. Um, so hopefully there'll be a lot of cool puzzles, and apparently like Lady D might be chasing you at this point to kind of interrupt your puzzle, kind of like Jack and the Shadow Puzzles. So maybe you might be getting frustrated. And finally, we see that typewriters are back. We're not sure if they're going to add ink ribbons to harder difficulties. Looks like you can just save a million times from that screenshot. And that's how the save screen is going to look and work. So that was our takeaway from the 26 minutes of gameplay. Be sure to click on the like and let us know in the comments what you thought about the new things that we showed today, specifically that creepy doll. That's my favorite part. Don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be doing lots of videos like this where we take things, we break it down, we give you the nitty gritty stuff and it's less boring than watching 26 minutes of somebody play terrible footage. So thank you for watching and uh, I love you. Goodbye.